What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. You probably just saw me install this 1M style bumper and I'm loving it so far. Um, I, I couldn't be happier with it. But the next step is installing this C-bin or Cybin, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, BM style carbon fiber hood. I got this from Colorado N5X and I'm sure a lot of you guys are already familiar with them. They're top vendor for uh, pretty much anything E-Series related. So if you've got a 335, a 135, or even 328s, whatever, they probably have interior, exterior, and performance related parts for it. So be sure to check them out. And I also got a carbon fiber trunk from them as well. But I'm going to do a separate video on that. Today I'm focusing on the hood. Uh, the shipment came fast. Everything was packaged really well. The quality seems fantastic. The real test is going to be how well does it fit. So step number one is to open up the stock hood here and get this all disconnected. Luckily I have a helper today. Of course it's blurry. Uh, like this video if you think I need a new camera. But Eileen's going to help me, because this is a big ass hood, take this thing off. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. It appears that taking the stock hood off is going to be pretty easy. There's just two 12 millimeter bolts, one right there, one right there. And this is a ground strap with an 11 millimeter bolt. bolt. And, <laughs> God, she's hilarious. And uh, the hood strut here is a 13 millimeter wrench. And then we also have to disconnect the windshield washer things. These just push in and then push up. You'll see on this side, I've already got this one pushed through. And then I believe we just can snake that back through there. And this should unplug. And uh, look at this whack job. Uh, over here, I'll be using my uh, trim removal tool to just kind of pop these out of here. But um, just unclip those, unclip all this down here and do the same thing on this side. And I think this thing should lift right off. See those muscles. Dang. Thank God I have a ripped helper. Held that hood up all by myself. <laughs> that was pretty easy. We got the hood off. Thanks to those muscles. But it actually looks pretty cool without the hood. Maybe I should just leave it off forever. Doesn't that look cool? Yes. <laughs> I'm looking for the dog. Get a clear hood or something. Oh, I kind of don't want to put anyone on. But that's going to look sick, so let's get it on. We will have to transfer over the latch here. Um, so I'm going to take both of these off the stock hood and put them on the carbon fiber hood. And I also um, got some quick latch hood pins. These things work really cool. Here, babe, do you want to record me using these? Because I need two hands. Um, so basically this will mount on the uh, this part here. I'll be drilling into here somewhere. I'm probably gonna do this in a separate video, but then this part um, mounts on the hood. We'll cut a hole, a circle hole in the hood. And then when the hood's shut, it'll just latch on like that. And uh, when you wanna open it, you just push the button and it comes off. So I like the look of these and the quality seems really good. Um, it's not obtrusive, it's just these two little circles that'll be on the hood compared to some of those arrow catch latches that are huge and whatever. These are nice and subtle, um, and I'll link them down below and probably do a separate video on them. Alright, so I do want to weigh the differences here. I read up online and couldn't find an exact answer on how much the stock hood weighs versus the carbon hood. So to do this first, I'm going to weigh myself just as is, and it is at... Don't lie. 145.6. So now what I can do is take this oh, and 186.6. Oh. So if my math is right, 145.6 to 186.6 would be 40. 
39 pounds. You stupid. They're not. What's 9 plus 10? 21. You stupid. Or wait. 41 pounds. 41 pounds. 41 pounds. Wow. This thing weighs 41 pounds. As you can see, I'm not very good at math. I can already tell this thing's a lot lighter. It's way easier to hold. So I weighed 145.6 without a hood. And this is 166.6. So this is 21 pounds. Stock hood's 41 pounds. If my math's right, how many pound savings is that? 20 pounds. 20 pounds. <laughs> um, all right, now set that thing down and help me get this on the car. Okay. Now with the hood fitted, I have the last and most scariest part of the install, and that is adding the roundel to the hood. Um, to do this, we actually have to drill into the carbon fiber hood. So as you can see, I put a piece of painter's tape here, and what I did was I grabbed the back of the roundel and uh, put some Sharpie on each tip, and then I laid it down as center as I could on there, and it made those two marks. So now I know where I have to drill, and uh, I'm gonna start with a, a smaller bit here on the right and work my way up to, I think this is a quarter inch bit. And I kept the grommets from the stock hood here. And what I did was I just checked out the stock hood and found the perfect drill bit that fits right in there. So um, again, I'm gonna do a pilot hole with the small one and then the larger one, pop in these grommets and hope this all works. That was scary. I think we did all right though. Ooh, ooh. All right, let's hone him out. All right, looks like we might have to go just a smidge bigger to fit these in. So I'm probably gonna use the same drill bit and just kinda hone it out. All right, the left one's tight, the right one's not. So let's see if that's gonna be an issue. And uh, let's see how centered we are. Look at that. Definitely gonna get a better video for you guys outside in the daylight. But as you can see, this thing looks killer. And it fits really good. I'm really, really impressed with the fitment on this thing. I would definitely recommend. And again, I got it from Colorado N5X. I'll link the products down below. Hit him up if you need anything like this. But the gap is is uniform on both sides. Um, there's a little bit of a gap, but honestly, um, nothing that would stand out to me. It's uniform on both sides here, all the way up. It's flush here, all one line coming over, direct shot. Uh, it's not higher or lower than the fender. 
it is exact where it needs to be. I'm really, really impressed, especially with the price. <clears throat> Cannot beat this. Save 20 pounds, looks aggressive, matches the new eyebrows on the headlights, uh, between the new bumper, the new hood, the new headlights. The front end of this car is looking mean. And some of you might ask, am I gonna paint it? No, I'm not, not right now. I love the bare carbon look. Um, I'm gonna ride this out for a while and as long as it doesn't get damaged or yellow or chip or fade, I'm gonna leave it, but I can always spray over it. So if I decide I get sick of it or wanna cover up some imperfections, I can just spray black over it. Uh, the two vents are functional. These go into the engine bay. I've got the headlight washers hooked up, everything ran, the emblem on, and it functions just like OEM. I can, uh, let me pop the hood for you guys and show you. I did remove one of the hood struts here, you'll see on the ground. Since it's way lighter, um, they advise only using one strut. You only need the one to hold it up. Got the stock latches and poppers here. They fit perfectly. And I just kept the one strut in on the passenger side. There's no strut on the driver's side. All the wiring is zip tied up. Fit really good. I'm really, really happy with it. And it closes just as it should. Bam. And like I said, I am installing these um, quick latches. These are supposed to be used in conjunction with the stock latch. So it's like a three point system. You'll put two of these in, one on each side, along with the stock latch. Um, and since the one series only has the one in the middle, I, I guarantee that at speed, this thing's gonna lift up. Just cause it's so light, air can get in there. The stock hood, I have pictures at the half mile of it lifting up just with the stock hood. So I'm definitely gonna get these installed, but that'll just probably be a separate video. It's late tonight. I'm about to hit the hay. And uh, frankly, I don't wanna drill into this hood again. It was scary enough just doing the, the emblems there. So that'll be a separate video. That way, anyone who's installing these, no matter what car, can find it and follow my how-to on that. So I think that's gonna wrap up this video. I do have the CSL style trunk sitting here. That's gonna be going on next. So be sure you stay tuned for that. And if you haven't already noticed it in the background of some of these videos, I got a VAC Motorsports roll bar, painted it white, and I'm prepping that to install in the car. So uh, those two videos are coming up soon. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. I got lots of content coming. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.